Well, hello, it's December. If you can believe it, we're heading towards Christmas time. We're going to continue our walk through the book of James. And so I want to invite you to listen uh, to these words from James uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here's a good seat for you, but you say to the poor man, you stand over there, or sit on the floor by my feet, have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Man, this is a very sobering passage, not just in our day and age where there's lots of discussion about the ways people set other people apart and discriminate against people, but it's for all time, for all of history. It was just as much a problem in Jesus' day as it is today, and it's just as much a problem today until the day Jesus returns. It's human nature, and if we're not careful, we'll find ourselves discriminating and looking at people uh, by outward appearances or, or, or things that aren't the things that matter the most. And so here's a couple thoughts out of this passage. First, we're all tempted to do this. Uh, we can look and say, I, I don't ever discriminate, but dig a little deeper and kind of quiet your heart and stop and reflect and say, wait, are there moments where certain kind of people I'm drawn toward, oh, oh, they're my kind of people. Certain kind of people I'm just kind of like, I'm a little more cautious about them or, or maybe even a little negative towards them. Begin to pray and say, Lord, check my heart in this area. Sometimes we give special treatment to those who, who have more or maybe can do more for us. And the Word of God is warning us, don't let that happen. Also, there's kind of a warning to say, be careful that you don't become the judge. Now, we are in a time in history where looking at a person, making a decision, and then becoming judgmental, reading one thing about a person, one tweet that they tweeted 12 years ago, and we know everything about them, or listening to a news report, and I think I know what they're all about because I heard some commentator give me a 30-second snapshot. Now, be careful. Remember that the Bible is clear that every human being has been made in the image of God. We don't fully realize that. We don't always live the way we should but there is value and dignity in every single human being. And then the book of James is warning us that this can show evil thoughts and evil intent. We've got to check our hearts and not discriminate in the sense that we're discriminating when we treat somebody better or we treat somebody worse just because of the way they look or what they have or their status in the world with the neighborhood they live in, the kind of car they drive, uh, the kind of accent they have, whatever it is, just to check our hearts and be very, very careful. Here's some encouragements. Look past the surface. Look past the surface of people and get to know them and who they really are. Treat every person with dignity. That's your default button. Dignity. For who? Everybody. As much as you can, the best you can. Also, look to the example of Jesus. Jesus loved people right where they were at. When Jesus looked at you and me and saw our brokenness and our sin and our rebellion, he said, I love you. I'm coming for you. I'm going to give my life for you. That's the heart of God. That's the heart of Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word that is powerful. Thank you for the book of James. We pray that we would not be people who discriminate, but people who embrace and love and care for others. Help us to see people the way you see them, with dignity, with beauty, with goodness. Help us to see ourselves as you see us and understand that we are also made in your image. Help us love people the way you love them. And thank you, Jesus, that you revealed your love for all people by coming into human history this Christmas season. Let our hearts be prepared to not only meet with you, but to love other people well. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we will see you on campus or online at 9 and 11 o'clock this Sunday morning. God bless you.